Hey everyone, Connie here um, with another update. I know I'm posting a lot of these updates today. Um, but this one is specifically an update on today's reactions and all. So today's reactions, of course, are the donation reward reactions. And I've kind of been um, really thinking about a lot today. Because as you know, I had the issues with the old computer and everything and all of that jazz. Um, and I just finished recording my reaction for Slime. And let me just... Uh, let me just say it just outright. I don't want to record Watership Down. It's currently 4.43, and I just have, like, pretty much no desire to record it. Not, I mean, time time is a little bit of the issue, because I do have to go somewhere tonight. Um, my Hobbit Bible Studies meeting up to watch the last of the Hobbit movies. But still, the issue is more along the lines of that I just don't want to. Maybe it's because of everything that's gone on today. And I'm just kind of in a little bit of a sour mood, admittedly. But I just don't have a desire to get to it. I don't have a desire to record it. I don't have a desire to watch it. But the problem is, I don't have a desire to record it. I don't have a problem to, or I don't have a desire to watch it. What I mean is, at all. I, I mentioned it in the afterthoughts of the reaction to the first episode, and it's like, after, after last week and everything, I, I started thinking about it more and more and all. And I just realized more and more how much I really wasn't a fan of it. How slow paced it was at points, but then how other certain parts felt extremely rushed. How just generic the characters are, and how they all look pretty much the same, except for maybe two of them. And on top of it, just how uninteresting the story is. It's just like everything is like leading me to not want to do it anymore to not to own to just like basically say you know it's only a four episode thing i just don't want to react to it anymore i i gave it a, a chance with the first episode but it's just like i i don't really see the desire and, and venom was saying in the comments that i should watch the cartoon version that it's supposedly better and uh, darker and stuff. Um, but Everett was saying that this version's like better and tells the original story better and stuff. Um, and and it might, that might be true. And that might be true. But it's like, I think what Matthew said is kind of more, um, more of how I feel about it. Matthew Vasquez. Uh, he he said in the comments to the last step to the first episode, this was kind of boring for me. I was thinking the same thing uh, when you, I was thinking the same thing when you couldn't tell who was who because of all the designs kind of looked the same, especially in the dark. It kind of feels like Fern Gully. The humans are this great big unknown evil, and, and that's kind of what I got from it. And, and I know that there's more to it apparently, um, and everything. Um, according to Everett, but all I got from that first episode was the humans are this great big unknown evil and I don't care. Not because I, I, I don't think humans have evil to them. They definitely do. <laughs> Not because I, I don't like agree with that kind of uh, like basically anti-human ideology, as some people would put it. 
Um, I definitely agree with a lot of those ideologies. But more along the lines of it's just... It's overplayed and almost never done well, that kind of idea. And on top of it, again, the characters, the story, all of it's just completely uninteresting. Again, I mentioned it in the first reaction, I think the only character I, I actually liked in the first episode was Strawberry. And she's like this minor character who was just kind of brought in at the end. And is probably not even going to be anything bigger than that. Because the story is centering around the brothers. And, and of course, the uh, Mohawk Rabbit, whose name I can't think of at the moment. Um, it's definitely centering around those three, but especially the brothers. So, like, I, I don't think Strawberry's ever going to become, a, like, a big character in any way. And I don't like the other characters. Like, the brothers, I'm not, I don't, like, hate or anything, but it's like, I don't really like them either. And I, I'm not interested in the story. I'm not invested in their struggles or their issues. I find most of it boring. And the fact that they're, that each episode, even though there's only four, the fact that each one is an hour long, it just feels like it's, it just goes on and on and on and just drags. And it's like, like I said, I just, I don't want to record or react to it anymore. And I, I believe I mentioned this in my first, uh, in, in my first episode afterthoughts that I wasn't really into it in any way and Everett was assuring me that the uh, that the first episode is definitely the weakest and that it does get better um, but yeah it's just like that's not really enough of a reason for me to want to continue because saying it gets better it doesn't say much and again the entire thing with the uh, the warren with the cult like rabbits and everything felt so extremely rushed and it was the most interesting part about the first episode it was the most interesting thing that happened, and it just felt like it was completely skimmed over, like it didn't matter. Like it was just some random tiny little thing to give slight halt to their journey. It felt pointless, and yet it was the most interesting part. Or rather, it had the most interesting idea, just wasn't capitalized on. But yeah, I, I, I don't want to continue reacting to it. And again, that sucks to say because just it just feels like I drop so much. But again, it's like, as I've said in the past, I, I'm not going to force myself to sit through something and basically torture myself if I'm not liking it, if I'm not enjoying it, even to some degree. And over the past week and so, or so, when since I watched it last, it's like I've just realized more and more how much I disliked it. How much I disliked watching it. So, yeah, I think we're just going to have to drop Watership down. I, I just, I don't think I can put myself through it. I mean, when I first heard about the story and everything, I thought it was going to be like this big, grandiose, uh, well, n maybe not grandiose, but this big, exciting, like, war kind of story. But it's just like, it's this boring, like, journey, basically, that has such weak characters as well 
Like, seriously, and they might get better over the other episodes, but it's like, holy crap, they're really not that good of characters, all things considered. So I, I hate to do it, but I have to drop it, I think. It's just really not my thing. I mean, it, it was a kind of a gamble in the first place with that with a series like that. But yeah. Um, replacing it for the cartoon slot on Wednesdays, uh, the donation reward day, will be Final Space. Um, a sci-fi based animated series. Um, that I don't know too much about, but I know my dad likes, and I know David Tennant is in it. That's pretty much all I know. Um, and I think it has, like, I know, I, I know it has at least one full season. I think a second season is coming soon or something. Um, but we're going to give that a chance. Um, and see if that's more my level. I have seen, I think, one clip from it, if I think if it's what I'm thinking it is, which I think it is because I think I've seen my dad watching it. Um, and if that's the case, then it should be at least enough to keep my interest and uh, probably be good enough to at least uh, enjoy, if not love. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> That's going to be the uh, replacement for that. And again, I really do apologize, especially to you, Everett, since you were the donator for that and all, but I just really feel like that series is not my kind of thing at all, if I'm being honest. I feel like it's just not interesting to me in any way. It, it, it just if I'm being honest. But hopefully, uh, hopefully this other stuff will be. And Everett, you still you did request a few movies and stuff, um, and all that will be continuing. The critique of Outlast stuff will be continuing for now. Um, I just have to find a time to get to it, you know? <laughs> so that stuff will be continuing, um, once we get more episodes of the, uh, uh, the Turnabout, uh, the Turnabout Storm sequel, we'll be definitely continuing those. So you still have donated, uh, you still have requested stuff that I do enjoy, so don't think that just everything you're requesting is, like, not my thing. There, you have requested some good stuff. And especially considering at least one of the movies that you requested, I do know I will probably enjoy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do apologize um, for dropping something else. It's just really just was not by any means my kind of thing. Um, so we'll just kind of have to uh, go from there, basically. Um, we're just going to uh, do what we can, and uh, hopefully everything coming in the future will be better and will be good and enjoyable. So, once again, sorry for dropping this, especially without even seeing one more episode. But I just, I, I really can't bring myself uh, to get to it. I just, I, I just can't find the motivation to do so at all. I just have no interest, basically. So I, I do apologize, but it's not really something I can help, unfortunately. I wish, believe me, I wish I could change my thoughts on stuff like that. I wish I could make myself like shows, because that that would be amazing, honestly. That would be so helpful. <laughs> um... But yeah, in the meantime, uh, thank you all so much for understanding. And for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See you all next time.